Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the one and only way to use a hack client, or a client in general for that matter, on iOS. As I said, it's the one and only way, so it's not necessarily going to be pretty, but if you're really desperate, then this is the way to do it. So what you want to do over here is just, um, you, you do need an Android device for this, by the way, but you will be able to get the client on iOS. Um, if you don't have access to an Android device, then you'll need to use an emulator on something like a Windows, Linux, or Mac device. I highly recommend Bluestacks. I've made a tutorial for that, and I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, for this, we are going to be using a proxy. I'm going to be choosing Lunar Proxy, which is probably the um, best one for this. You just want to search for it on the Google Play Store. If you're using an emulator, then you will automatically have the Google Play Store installed in that as well. Do not disturb was not do not disturbing. Um, anyways, you want to make sure you install Lunar. Once again, if you do this in an emulator, it's fine as well. Anyways, here I've installed Lunar, so that's great. Uh, there is going to be advertisements in here. I definitely don't recommend you buy premium, but as soon as you're inside of Minecraft, you won't notice any of that, so don't worry about it. So here inside of Lunar, you can actually proxy to the iOS device, and that is the method we are going to be using for this. Um, so basically, in this button down here, you need to log in with your Microsoft account. This needs to be the exact same Microsoft account that you are logged in on inside of Minecraft on the iOS device. Anyways, here um, you can choose any server that you want to join. It is limited to that, sadly, um, but you can choose any server here from the featured servers selection, or you can enter the IP address of any M other MCPE server you want. Think of stuff like 2B2PE or something like that. So I've just selected the Hive here as an example, and as you can see now I have logged in and I've been successfully connected to the Hive. Um, this is still on my Android device. Anyways, now what you want to do is, as I said, very important, make sure that you're logged in on the same account on your iOS device. Alright, so here I am on the iOS device, and as you can see I'm just loading Minecraft. Also, um, if you're using an emulator or if you've got this on your um, on, on your Android device, then it's very important that you keep the proxy open or at least just active in the background. Um, this is more intuitive if you're using the proxy on the Android device itself, um, but if you were to just close it and put it away, then it doesn't work. It needs to be active in the background. Anyways, as you can see, I'm signed in right over here, and now I can simply click on play. And because I am signed into this account, um, under my worlds right over here, which, oh my god, there's 187 on this device. I'm borrowing uh, uh, um, my sister's iPad for this, jeez. Anyways, um, now as you can see, we have the Lunar Proxy, which doesn't show up under servers, but it shows up under LAN world connections, which nowadays for some reason are just under the worlds tab up there. Anyways, as you can see, it's a LAN world, and we can just click on that, and then, yes, we will download everything. It's not mine anyways, I could care less. Anyways, it's not actually a LAN world, you're joining through the Lunar Proxy, which is basically the entire point of this, and now as you can see, we're going to load onto the Hive. So here as you can see, or maybe I was too slow, no, go away. Um, as you can see, we're playing with Lunar Proxy, not sure why the chat is down there, but um, okay, it's a, it's an iOS device, I guess, that explains it. Alright, anyways, these uh, touch controls are ridiculously big, and I never play on mobile, so this is going to be really clunky, but basically, as you can see, we're playing with Lunar Proxy, and this works entirely through the chat, so we can just type dot .help um, right over here in the chat, and that is going to give you a list of all of the commands that Lunar Proxy offers. As you can see, there's quite a lot. We've got, um, well, Fly, Jetpack, Aura, Phase, Kill Aura. You've got all this stuff. Um, it's a lot easier if you will have it all set up, of course. And this is on an iOS device. As you can see, I can pull up this classic iOS thing over here. Although it is a screen overlay, not sure if you guys can see that. But um, basically, it is as simple as that. As it does already say in the chat, um, you can use dot help and then the command. So for example, kill aura over here, and that'll give you some more, well, information about that command. So that's pretty nice. Um, you can use commands 
to manage basically everything with this client. Although I have made a actual full complete usage tutorial for Lunar Proxy. Um, and if you want that, then I will link it down in the description below for your convenience. Uh, I'm not sure what I did over here, but I guess it doesn't really matter. For right now, that was uh, basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.